there's a switch on the transmitter that y'all should know about before you calibrate your radio but also to give you the maximum amount of movement for your throttle control so the more range you have on the throttle the more linear it's going to be from zero throttle to 100 percent what i'm talking about is behind this little cover right here so i'm gonna slide the radio over just a little bit so y'all can see this a little bit better see how it stops at that hash mark down here at zero and the hash mark stops up here for a hundred it doesn't go all the way to that last one well i noticed this when i was comparing it to my dx9 that i didn't have as much movement like the stick doesn't come all the way down you'll notice when you compare it to the right stick how it comes down about another eighth of an inch or so you know you've got more movement on this side so i didn't like that i wanted to have the full range of motion just like my previous transmitter so you also look at the screen here and see that it shows 12 percent even though i'm all the way down when i go all the way up you see it stops at 92 percent the reason why is i caught this and went ahead and calibrated it after i made the adjustment on the left stick for the throttle so what you do is you need to go in here, pull these little tabs out. There's one on the top and one on the bottom. You'll notice that there's a little switch in there. That little switch is on the left side on this one. On the right side, it's towards the left side as well. So watch this. We're going to go ahead and toggle this switch to the right. It'll click twice. So you got one click, second click. Now look at my range look over here on the side where it's lining up on the hash mark it was stopping close to this one last time and up here it was stopping close to this one and look how much movement i have now so if you have an nx10 go ahead and do that first thing and also do it before you calibrate your throttle now you see i've got a hundred percent and i've got zero percent at the bottom so I just wanted to share that with y'all and give you a heads up on that. Now that we've got those switched back, let's go ahead and put our covers back over. And they just press into place. And they're not going to fall out even after you take them on and off because they're made to adjust. You just push them down in there. The only way you can pull them out or they will come out is if you actually flip up on the tabs. While you're here, go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the channel to see future Spectrum NX videos. And I'll see y'all in the next one.